Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvendril and in this video I'm going to do something I was curious for a long time and I hope you find this video very interesting. So I have this Dell Optiplex 3010 so you can do this in any in a HP, Lenovo, oh, by the way don't do this on any computer or laptop, it's not advisable. I have done many videos about this, uh, the Dell computers, I have updated the BIOS version, re, um, reset the BIOS password, so if you're interested in that I'm going to leave the link for those videos in the video description below. So now we have a Windows 10 computer as you can see here, you can do this, uh, well anything would work Windows 7, Windows 8, but Windows 10 is what we use most of the times nowadays. So I'm going to go to properties of this PC and as you can see we have 4 gigabytes of RAM installed on this Windows 10 machine. So what we are going to do is we are going to add more RAM while the computer is running. Okay, so while the computer is on, this Windows 10, this Dell uh, desktop computer, we're going to add more RAM. So this is the RAM we're going to add, it's 8 gigabytes, so in total we should have 12. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the side for now, and now we're going to open it. It's really easy to open the case in this model, I like that a lot. So this is the computer uh, in all its glory. So you can see the uh, CD, DVD reader over there. Uh, under it is the hard drive, then you can see the heatsink and the fan for the processor, the power supply and all the components. So the RAM in this model is under the hard drive, so we're going to remove it. And while we're doing that, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So as you can see, it's very easy to remove the hard drive, it's very, I mean, you can do it really, really easily. So once that's done, you can see the two RAM modules. Only one is being used at the moment and now we are going to add the second one, the 8 gigabyte RAM memory. So we're going to do it and I'm struggling there as always when I do something technical and we're going to hit the clicks like that. So we have now, we should have now 12 giga, gigabytes of RAM. So we go back to the monitor and we can see we still have four. I'm going to refresh it and we still have four. So I'm going to close everything, this PC, right click, properties, and we still have four. So I'm going to open a CMD and I, I'm going to issue the command system info. info. It's a command I have used many times in the channel, very useful to find information about your computer. So here we have to find for, we have to look for total physical memory. It still says four gigabytes. So what we are going to do next is I'm going to sign out. So I'm going to end my session as you can see there and then we're, I'm going to log back in. So there you go, this is my test computer, client one. I'm going to type the password. I do many testings, many testing on this laptop, laptop, I mean desktop computer. So I go to this PC, properties, and we still see four gigabytes. So we, not even a sign out is uh, enough. So we're going to shut down the computer, like you can see there, and the computer is going to shut down now. So I'm going to wait a few seconds, and now I'm going to start it again. So you can hear the fan there, it's starting up, and now we're going to see what's going on. So it, we have an alert. The amount of system memory has changed to continue press F1. So we know that, but we haven't seen the extra RAM that we have added to this machine. So it's going to, we're going to log back in. So we're going to go to this PC properties, and now we can see 12 gigabyte. So a reboot, no, not a reboot, a shutdown was needed for the computer to take in to recognize the RAM we have added. It's not like when you are doing virtual machines, you can add RAM to any Linux, Windows computer, a virtual computer, well, virtual machine, uh, when the computer is on. So we cannot do, do that in, in, let's say, in regular computers, desktop computers or laptops, we cannot do that. So what we're going to do now is, well, I forgot to tell you this the first time. Here I'm showing you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I discharge myself of electro, uh, static electricity I might have in my body touching any metallic surface. I didn't mention that before, sorry guys. You have to do that so you don't damage the electric, electronic components. So now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to remove the, the uh, RAM module from the motherboard. So I'm showing you that um, on, on the top that the, uh, I can use the mouse and all that. So I'm going to remove the RAM like that. And there you go. I have removed one of the RAM modules. So as you can see, 
uh, the screen is like, I don't know, pixelated, distorted, and a few seconds after that, it's going to restart itself. I didn't touch anything, the computer is going to restart itself, even though it still has four gigabytes or eight, I don't remember which one I took from the motherboard. And we still have the same alert, the RAM uh, amount has changed. Press F1 to continue, which is true, we just remove a RAM module. So I believe I removed the same I added, the eight gigabytes, and we're going to see what it shows now. So we log back into this Windows 10, my test Windows 10 computer. So we open this PC, right click, and we can see we have the original four gigabytes because obviously I removed the eight gigabyte RAM module. So what we are going to do now, we have seen that uh, the the RAM is not updated until you reboot, no, you shut down the system. So what we're going to do next is we're going to disconnect the hard drive. So this is an SSD. Uh, I, I replaced it in another video. I'm going to leave the link in the description below as well. So this is the power. And what we're going and I'm, I, again, I'm going to show you that I can use the mouse there. I can right click on it. I can press the start button and all that. So it's working. So we are going to disconnect the SATA cable. So this one is the power, all the colors there are the power. So we don't need to disconnect that, only the SATA that is connected to the motherboard itself. So I disconnected it, like you can see there, and now everything kind of is falling down. <laughs> so the RAM fell and all that. So we're going to go back to the monitor. And as you can see, I, I can still move the mouse, but the background went dark, but I can still move the mouse. I cannot click on anything and the mouse is kind of slowing down like that and now it's stuck and, now, and right away we can see this error like your device has run into a problem so and it needs to restart we are collecting some data about it and now i'm going to try to connect it back but i'm too slow as you can see i just connected back but the computer just rebooted itself. So I was too slow for that. So now you can see the Dell logo there. Um, please wait, I'm going to move my camera so you can see better. And after a few seconds, it's going to show me this message, recovery. Looks like the, uh, the Windows didn't load correctly, we know that. So I'm just going to click on restart PC. And while we're doing that, this is another opportunity for you to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So as you can see, Windows is loading. One more time, I'm going to log back in. The password, it's loading. I'm going to go to this PC, right click. Well, I'm showing you the hard drive. I, I didn't show you before for some reason. So now we're going to go to properties and we can see that uh, we still have the four gigabytes that we had originally because we, have, we haven't added the other. So I'm going to put it back, everything together. And this is something, of course, you never have to do. You can damage your computer. It's not worth it. I'm just doing it because I just want to show you what, what could happen if you do that. So you never have to do what I did in this video. Okay, so if my computer were to die uh, while I was doing this video, nothing would happen because I don't have any information, important information on this Windows 10 computer. It's just my testing computer. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys. What happens when you disconnect the RAM or the hard drive on a working, on a running computer. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, guys, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.